Hi, this is Kathy Quinn with Floriani. Floriani is a division of RK Distributing, and I want to welcome you to this week's Project of the Week. Well, I hope you've noticed that we came out on the 11th with a brand new update. New features, new fun in Floriani Total Control. Now, just to double check and see if you have the latest and greatest, you can go to Help check for updates. Now when you click on check for updates what it's going to do is it's going to bring up bring I'm gonna drag it up here it's going to open up your page and it's gonna actually take you to the RNK software club you don't even have to sign in if you just scroll down you're gonna see we have a new update so it's going to tell you it's update 3561. You'd go ahead and download the latest version of Floriani Total Control and install it. Now if you're not sure if you have the latest version or not, all you have to do is go to Help, About. Now you can see I have 3561, so I have the latest update put into my software. If yours is less than 3561, go ahead and click on your help again, check for updates, and let it take you to the update page. Well, I have to tell you what my one of my most exciting features that we received in this update is something that I've been wanting up for a long time. And it is a remove overlap tool, but not just for anything. We've always had remove overlap. I'm going to show you the fun. I'm going to left mouse click on my shapes and I'm going to grab a square, hold down my left mouse key and just draw an artwork shape. I'm going to select that shape <clears throat> and I am going to come down on my lower toolbar along my one click wonders. I'm going to come over to this green bush which is my auto applique and I'm going to left mouse click on it. And like magic, I have applique. Now I'm going to, I just scrolled some colors over. I'm going to come up again and get another shape. It could be another square, a circle, it doesn't matter what it is. I'm going to do another shape. Now I'm going to select it. And again, I'm going to come down to my applique tool and create applique. And I'm just going to change the color of this last color just so we can see. Now you'll notice over here in my sequence view, it tells me I've got the applique and with it expanded, I'm going to stitch out color one. It's going to say stop before proceeding, place my fabric. And as you can see, it's going to tell me exactly what to do as I go along. So I've got that times two because I have two shapes. Now our problem was before is I would go ahead and there would be my placement my tack down and my finish. So I've got, I've put a placement line and I've laid a piece of fabric down. I've tacked that fabric down and now I have a finish. Which was great, but now I'm going to come in and here is my next applique shape. Now what happened is I already have a square of fabric here and I have these stitches. So I've put this placement line, I'm going to lay my fabric over this and then go ahead and do a tack down and a finish. The problem was was this bulk right here. So we learned a way to come in here and delete these finish stitches away from the placement line and the tack down. And so I would actually have to come in here, I would have to break up the appliques and I would come in here and I would break up applique. Now that I had done that, I would go ahead and come to this. I would go to my stitch edit and I would start deleting these stitches right here out so I wouldn't have that bulk. Well, undo is my friend. So I'm going to come back to undo. So I'm back to the two appliques that are not broken up. Now I'm going to, oops, I still wanted to change that color, color three. Now what I'm going to do, I undid one time too many. I'm going to select all items. I'm going to right mouse click. I'm going to remove overlap. 
Ooh, baby, look at the magic. Is that not awesome? So now I'm going to come. There's my placement, my tack down, and my finish. And there's my placement, my tack down, and my finish. How cool is this? Now this is what I've wanted. And it makes it so easy. A simple right mouse click. We still have all of our information under applique that we need it. Everything's still there with us. So I hope you enjoyed this week's Project of the Week. And we'll look at another new feature next week. Have a great week. Talk to you soon.